Okay, now to talk about our module of the week, let's bring in Martin Anderson Klutz, Senior Solutions Engineer at Aquae and maintainer of a number of modules of his own. Martin, what do you have for us this week? Thanks, Nick. This week, I thought we would talk about the Entity Registration Module, which allows users on your Drupal site to register for events, as an example, really anything that's an entity. So the module was originally created in September of 2011, and the most recent version is 3.0 beta 5, which is ready for Drupal 10. Has been quite actively maintained in recent months, number of releases, and there are 371 issues open, but only five of them are for the 3.0 branch, and only, or sorry, and three of those were actually fixed in recent releases. So uh, really there are no open bugs at this point. In terms of usage, it's currently in use by over 5,000 websites, but the vast majority of those are actually Drupal 7. And the 3.x branch looks to be maintained by John Oltman primarily, who also maintains the commerce registration module for using registration with Drupal Commerce. The Internally, how it works is you create fieldable registration types, so similar to content types, that can capture data during registration, so think of like t-shirt size or dietary requirements. Then you would add a reference to a registration type on the entity that you want as a field, and, um, and then people can, can then use that to register. And that can be displayed on that parent entity as either a, a link or a form directly within the entity display, or you can actually have it as sort of a tab on the uh, entity display as well. You know, it provides functions commonly associated with registrations, so you know, maximum number of registrations, automated reminders to registrants, and so on. It also has workflows integration, including a registration workflow submodule to add permissions and operations for workflow transitions. And in addition to all of that, there's also a registration scheduled action submodule to set up sort of scheduled emails based on your registration settings. So that's a quick rundown, but let's talk about the entity registration module. I, th I think I've actually used this. I mean, th that's one of the things with Drupal 7 being out for so long. And it's been so long since I've used it. I don't remember if it was this specific module, but I think I used it for a fencing club to help set up uh, private lesson registrations. And it was one of those things that, you know, registrations is one of those things that it's an easy problem to ask for, but it's a very difficult problem to solve. So it's nice to have a solution like this. I mean, people would just say like, oh, I want to have these appointments that people can register for, or these events that people can register for. You think like, oh, that's, you know, it's two sentences, but actually handling like, how do you do that? How do you do reminders? How do you make sure you don't get too many? Um, can you prevent, you know, if there's payment involved, there's another level, but yeah, it's, I, I think I used this back in the day. And it was, you know, it was complex, but it's solving a complex problem. Yeah, I think this one, I mean, the, the machine name is actually registration. So they probably added entity at the front when it was rewritten for sort of, you know, modern versions of Drupal. Um, so it, it probably works, I would say, a fair bit differently. I think there was basically a, you know, an entire rewrite for, um, you know, Drupal, the modern versions of Drupal there. Um, I know for myself, you know, the the whole registration space is something that I had looked around a lot to find something. I, you know, as listeners may know, I maintain Smart Date and some related modules, and registration is something that often comes up for people who are creating events. And there are definitely other modules in that space. I, I feel like in Drupal Seven, there were probably more options, but um, it's. It's been a long time coming to really have something that that's fairly easy to use. I think the the modern version, at least in the the time that I've played around with it, seems like it's fairly intuitive. It, it's much the same as sort of setting up a, a content type and adding whatever fields you need to sort of capture data, and and the process seems to be pretty straightforward. Yeah, I th I think your point about Drupal seven. It, this is a more universal solution, and in Drupal seven, people just created like registration ecosystems for just events. And this is a lot broader, which is a nice approach. Like it yeah. seems very well maintained, by the way, I'm going through the notes and the maintainers just keeping track of everything, even explaining the differences between the versions. Looks like a really good system. Yeah, it's always nice to see. 
I mean, t- ma- maintaining the module page is something that takes more effort than I think people realize too. Making sure it's up to date and accurate, um, and uh, you know, seeing seeing that a module maintainer is taking that care is definitely a good sign as well. Well, thank you, Martin. Uh, always glad to hear your thoughts on Module of the Week, and we'll see you next week.